As a pretty popular high school athlete, I always thought I would be fit, fine, and fabulous at the age of 40. Having the exceptional balance between healthy eating and living with a perfect workout regimen. However, I got older, so did my body, and my time to work out got limited. I noticed that my natural born athleticism started to diminish and was noticeable. It became extremely noticeable after playing an impromptu game of basketball in my mid-20s with some friends. That game was the start of a downward spiral of knee injuries that resulted in four knee surgeries. All those knee surgeries led me to believe that this knee injury business is never ending. Well, the truth of the matter is, shit happens, and it happened to me. <laughs> At this moment, I realized that no matter how healthy or athletic I am, at some point in time, via playing sports, being active, or just naturally aging, my knees, your knees, our knees, will begin to slowly deteriorate. The unfortunate truth is that over time, we all will be faced with some knee problems as we age. According to the National Institutes of Health, by the year 2030, nearly 65 million Americans will suffer from some knee problems affiliated with osteoarthritis, commonly known as OA. Furthermore, every year, approximately 700,000 Americans undergo knee replacement surgeries. Chances are, you or someone you know will have to deal with the chronic pain and inflammation affiliated with a knee injury or knee surgery. And knee surgeries are about so much more than the actual surgeries themselves. In my case, I didn't realize the amount of pain and downtime affiliated with the recovery. I also didn't realize the simple things we take for granted, like hopping to the bathroom or asking someone to assist you with your hopping to the bathroom. Eventually, my scientific curiosity led me to question what technologies, if any, were on the market. Given this curiosity, I decided to ask my resident orthopedic surgeon if he would allow me to watch him perform a knee replacement surgery. Well, as you can imagine, my perception on how knee surgeries were performed changed drastically. After viewing the surgery, I realized two things. One, the human body is physically indispensable. And two, Knee replacements are one size fits all, and the current technology sure treats them like they are. I noticed it didn't matter if you had a small, medium, or large knee. It was simply about what is available and making it fit no matter what. I began investigating the current technologies to see how they worked. I learned the first component in the technology is something called a synthetic scaffold that is used as a mold to help tissue grow. A tissue scaffold is comparable to the metal building scaffold you see while walking in a busy downtown area. The scaffold is there to hold the building up while new materials are added to help repair the building. After all the components are added, the scaffold is then removed and the building is complete. Scaffolds are used in tissue engineering as well, and they consist of things such as hydrogels and three-dimensional fibers. 
But instead of using metal and drywall, like in building scaffolds, we use cells and biological entities, such as proteins and growth factors. This process helps, helps expedite tissue growth and formation, resulting in newly formed tissue, such as bone and cartilage. See, cartilage doesn't regenerate itself. Once it's injured, it is irreplaceable. Cartilage is a dense material that doesn't have blood vessels flowing through it, making it a little more problematic to work with. For knee injuries, the current treatments include scaffolds, such as injectable gels, that are used to stabilize and support the knee. These commercially available injectable gels are used to replace the naturally occurring lubricant found in the knee, acting as a shock absorber to prevent bone-on-bone -bone contact. Unfortunately, these materials act as a Band-Aid. After three to six months, and another injection is needed because of this Band-Aid. However, during this time, your cartilage is not being regenerated, nor is any healing occurring. Contrary to knee injuries, for knee replacement surgeries, there's a shelf life of around 18 years. But again, still no healing occurs or cartilage is being regenerated. To date, there is nothing available to regenerate cartilage. But what if there could be a product that would improve the current technology, begin to regenerate your cartilage, and start to heal your knee from the inside out before the damage escalates? After all, everyone wants to be healthy forever. So what if I could, what if I could even invent a preventative therapy to help those of us at the cusp of getting older. This challenge intrigued me and forced me to make this my life's mission to solve this daunting task. What my research lab has developed is an innovative injectable gel that shows promise in providing a non-invasive way to regenerate knee cartilage. More importantly, this product will provide millions of Americans with relief and improvement of knee pain as they continue to age. Especially for those athletes, runners, and my adrenaline junkies. So how, does the, how did I come up with this idea? By simply taking a look from a different lens, I was able to come up with a clever approach to help people with knee injuries. I wanted to blow the roof off of the traditional therapies, but more importantly, I wanted to break into this field with something different and unique on how we go about treating knee injuries. One thing that stood out to me was how the current treatments for knee therapies are performed and how they differ from cancer treatments. Sadly enough, cancer is a disease that's constantly changing and evolving, always masking itself, causing researchers to always figure out a way to demolish cancer. Cancer treatments, unlike knee treatments, have started moving into a more personalized area where they can focus on one specific tumor and demolish it from the inside out, providing a localized targeted therapy. Unfortunately, the field of orthopedics has not moved into the area of personalized knee or joint repair. But what if we could start to take a look at each specific knee defect and determine the severity of it? Is there a way to go about looking at each specific knee defect and determine 
how long a patient has until their knee completely fails. What my research lab has developed is an innovative way to solve this problem by creating a scaffold that is an injectable gel and contains the natural lubricant found in the knee, in addition to adding therapeutic molecules. These therapeutic molecules in conjunction with our gel provide a way that we can look at each specific knee defect and treat it by controlling the cell health and viability ensuring that we can recreate those intricate structures in cartilage. Now, I'm not talking about rocket science, but biomedical engineering, which is even cooler, and it allows us to do things like 3D printing. 3D printing has become a hot commodity that allows us to make anything we want using plastics. But more recently, we've started using cells and hydrogels to make new tissue using chemical design synthesis, analysis, and 3D bioprinting, where we can 3D print cells inside of gels to make intricate structures that mirror cartilage, but also placing these 3D printed gels and cells into a low oxygen or hypoxic chamber that simulate these knee issues or conditions and diseases of the knee. So how does it work? At the onset of a knee injury, low oxygen levels occur in the knee. This low oxygen environment doesn't allow the cells to create the molecules that are essential. The mechanical stability decreases while the inflammation and pain Pro, the proteins affiliated with inflammation and pain increase. This low oxygen or hypoxic environment also cultivates toxic free radicals. I've demonstrated in my research lab that we can increase the amounts of collagen, glucosamine, and DA, DNA using our gels. But to improve this technology, we begun incorporating therapeutic molecules to provide a cell protective scaffold. The mechanism for how our therapeutic molecules work are essentially by exploiting the chemical properties of the therapeutic molecules that allow us to capture those toxic free radicals. The results show us that we increase the number of collagen, glucosamine, and DNA, but ultimately we decrease the amounts of inflammatory proteins. This cutting edge therapeutic technology has allowed me to create a predictive analytic model that now can focus on one specific knee injury and begin incorporating your cells that later will successfully regenerate my cartilage, your cartilage, our cartilage. The future of knee repair is moving towards a personalized regenerative approach. And I personally want to help Americans have a better quality of life with knee problems and osteoarthritis. Because wouldn't it be awesome if you could go into the doctor and discuss a personalized plan regarding improving your knee pain and eliminating you from having surgery? Thanks to this preventative technology, a well-balanced life, and a new knee will help me, you, and others feel fit, fine, and fabulous at the age of 41. <laughs> Thank you.